Hello one and all and welcome to the Math Magic Show. In this one I'm going to show you how to find every integral of a particular form, but only after we've done a concrete example first. Hopefully that will make, make it more, make more sense. So take a look at this one here, friends, okay? Imagine we have this, uh, say, integral of, e, let's see, e to the 2x and then dx. So for example, we can set u equal to 2x and then differentiate, so d would be equal to 2dx. So I'm doing u sub, and then divide through by 2. So that means that u, well, du divided by 2 is equal to dx. That means our integral now can be recreated as follows. We can say it's the integral of e to the u, and then du over 2. Now we are dividing by 2 here, so we can factor that out as 1 half. That's what it means to divide by 2 like this. All right, and then you have left here the integral of e to the u du. And then you finish this from here, so it's going to be 1 half e to the u plus c. But remember that u is defined as 2x right here. So it becomes therefore at the very end the following, in other words. So 1 half e to the 2x plus c. And that's it. So this is anti-differentiated. The question is, can this be applied in general? So in other words, imagine often what you have is this number up here, right? this in this case, it happens to be a 2 here, uh, but it could be, you know, for example, like negative 3 or 4 or 1 half, whatever. It's just some number up there, okay, where the 2 is. So in that case, it would look like the following then. You would have the antiderivative of e to the kx and then dx. So the k could stand. In this case, it stands for the 2, but it could be negative 3, 4, 1 half. It's just some number. The nice thing is once you've done a concrete example like this, then... That same logic flows into this. Just manipulate k and treat it like a number, that's all. So what I mean is, take a look, friends. I set u now equal to kx, that's all. kx, and then differentiate, so du would be equal to uh, k dx, because the derivative of x is 1. Anyway, so du equals k dx, divide by k on both sides, divide by k. So here, take a look, friends, this goes away, goes away. And now you have that du over k is equal to dx. Now we can recreate things. So in other words, now we have e to the u. And again, dx is equivalent to d over k from here, right? Look, from here and then here. So you're going to put du over k. And that k is like a constant. Again, let me stress. So in this case, the k back here, this was our k, right? k happened to be equal to 2. All right, same logic though. So you're gonna pull one over k out and then you have the integral of e to the u du. And to differentiate, so it's gonna be one over k e to the u plus c. But of course, again, let me stress, right? u is equal to kx from this step, you see? Therefore, at the very end, we will say that we have the following. <laughs> one over k e to the k x plus c <laughs> there you go so 1 over k times e to the k x plus c and then this is like the answer in a general format right here i see this is the answer so let me stress the following then lastly as a last note for all of this crazy stuff that if you had for example like e to the 3x dx it just happens that k is 3 Right? If you had, for example, e to the 1 half x dx, it just happens that k is equal to 1 half, you see? If you had this right here, where he says e to the negative 0.5 x dx, it just happens that k is equal to 0.5. But the logic is exactly the same sequence of steps. And that is all that I wanted to say here. So. Please do leave a like, please subscribe, leave some comments down below, leave suggestions for future videos, I always look for those. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.